I'm getting ready here to change the oil and to change the fuel filter in my 280SL. And I realized, you know, I've never done a video on this. I've never even written any instructions. And you might be thinking, well, hey, it's just a fuel filter replacement and oil filter and oil. What's with that? Well, <laughs> these old Mercedes with the six cylinder fuel injected engines, you know, you got to get under the car to get to the fuel filter. You got to get under the car to get to the oil filter. And but it's that fuel filter which will literally drive you crazy because of the restricted space. So I decided, okay, I'm going to do a video. I'll do a full featured video that will come with the kit I'm going to supply for these cars. This will include W111, W113, W108 with the six cylinder fuel injected engines. Now let me show you what's in the kit. I'm going to include two oil filters and those oil filters will come with the O-rings and the ceiling washers and then I'm going to include one fuel filter and the fuel filter O-ring seal. Now this does not come with these fuel filters and this is the thing that does not get replaced and in my instructional video I'll show you why you need to change this every time you change the fuel filter. You'll also learn why I recommend you have one of these on hand. It's not included in the kit, but you're going to need to have a nice cloth towel on hand when you do this service on your old Benz. So the maximum capacity of this oil in the 280SL is 6.5 liters. There's approximately half a liter in the oil cooler and there's probably a half a liter in the oil filler so you're changing the oil filler so you're looking at around you know five and a half liters maybe a little bit more so what I do is I take and put five liters in it I'm not going to film the whole operation here but I'll put five liters in the engine and then I will take it outside and start it up and let it run. I will check fuel filter for leaks, oil filter for leaks. I won't drive it for at least 30 minutes. I'm going to let it run. Then I'll stop it and I'll check the oil and fill it right up to the line and I'll be done. You never do this kind of service and jump in the car and just take off down the road. You always let it run for 15, 20 minutes in your driveway, outside your shop. Check for leaks underneath. Some of you are looking at this oil here and wonder why I use this oil. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'll put a link at the product description on my website and send you to a video explaining why I recommend this particular oil here for these old Mercedes-Benz engines. 